Well, it's, um, I think it's the 21st today of uh, May, and of course, I am, of course, sitting on the porch just because it's a little cooler than in the house. I spent my time cleaning up the house, trying to go through all the cabinets to see what kind of cruft I had in there and that needed to be thrown away, and I found a lot of old computer parts, broken pieces, odds and ends, and a whole bunch of other stuff that just didn't seem to fit in anywhere. So, um, I began the process of cleaning up my apartment to uh, make things uh, better. Now, obviously, I'm still sitting on the porch. I'm using my iPhone, which is a handheld device, because it's really hard to um, um, take the big camera out of here. It's hard to bring the camera out here for obvious reasons. And number one, the um, the cord isn't really very long. Um, I could extend it, but for normal for to work in the studio, it's really not a big deal. So, um, second of all, I still have to lug a microphone on here. And uh, for something like a short a video like this, it really makes as much sense as tits on a bowl. Really, it does. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so I started the process of cleaning out and of course, um, got things a lot more organized. I found a few things that I didn't know I had and a few things I thought I had I don't have. And um, things like that. Technically, I'm not really done done because I still have to do the two closets. And one of the closets is it's got a big legacy of shipping boxes and everything else for shipping packages and uh, a Commerce 64 computer. Oh, if you know anybody who would like to have a Commodore 64 with a working data set, a 1541 disk drive that may need new power supply caps, um, with instruction books, some software disks, and enough stuff to get you going. Um, let me know. I will not charge you for it. I just want to see it get used and give it a good home. It's been sitting in my closet for a few years. I also have um, several copies of Compute Gazette, Rainbow Magazine, Run Magazine. I think a few, I might have a few transactors. Magazines for said computer as well. Um, so if you want to have a working Commodore 64 and you can find a home for it, just let me know, uh, and the contact information is almost always on the video, so you can always contact me here at bichela3 at gmail.com. In addition to that, of course, you can always um, leave your name or leave a comment below in the comment section, and um, with, uh, just let me know that you're interested, and then uh, tell me how to contact you in private mail, and I will get back to you, and we'll arrange for pickup. Or, of course, you can call us, call 860-469-2821, uh, leave your name and number, and um, let me know uh, when you want to pick it up, okay? It says uh, it's free. I just want to give it a good home. It's a good machine. And, um, as I said, it might need some TLC because it lets you let it caps in the power supply on the 1541, which is the original, original 1541. It's not the 1541-2 or the 1541-C. So... And if you're excited to have that opportunity, there's your chance. Also, of course, today is um, I received a video or a message that eBay has been hacked. Now, this applies to everybody who uses eBay for transactions. You or eBay is suggesting that you change your password immediately to protect yourself from nasty behaviors of these crackers that have gotten in and caused great um, security breach um, that was dated as of today. So if you got an eBay account, please change your password immediately, not just five minutes from now or two days from now. I mean, like, if you can, today. Um, I know it's a pain in the ass. Trust me, i got to go through it myself. So um, if you want to risk having somebody charging you, like, for a like fifteen thousand dollars for a Rolex watch or something that you can't pay for, well, <laughs> that's fine. That's your money, not mine. Okay. Um, 
So anyway, it's going to be getting warm this week coming up, uh, starting on Memorial Day, which is um, next week. And uh, so you will want to, of course, you probably will be going out there into the pool or to the lake anyway. Um, but make sure to wear your sunscreen and be careful for thunderstorms that can pop up almost instantly and could cause um, problems. Um, especially if you're ill-prepared and you're on the water and the lightning storms comes in, you know what I mean? You gotta just get the shore as fast as you can and stay protected. Protected does not mean staying underneath a tree during a lightning strike, okay? Because we already saw that happen here. A lightning strike blew a tree in half. It split it in twain and actually ended up landing on top of Ed's motorhome. And crushing it like a like a like a bully slicing through a peanut butter sandwich. That's what it looked like when it was done too. I should add, big split right in half, bisected fairly evenly. Um, so that's what I'm going to suggest for right now is be considerate of how much. As I said, I'm trying to keep these videos informative. Now, as far as the astral projection, astral travel video, I'm going to work on that too. Um, I've been trying, me and Lamia have been trying to figure out how to best answer the question without um, being seeming to be too flippant. Uh, first of all, let me explain one thing. I've been doing astral travel since I was very young. It's a natural thing to me. It's as natural as breathing. It's not even a taught thing. I just acquired a skill. I just knew how to do it, and I've been doing it ever since. And um, I find it to be very exciting, but from listening and talking to others in the field, there is definitely safety considerations that you need to consider if you're going to do it. I will discuss those in a video. I think Lumi already did talk about that. Yeah, I did. We talked about it in um, one of my videos on my channel um, about travel. So, yeah, you can get it there, too, and, and watch it there on the Internet as well. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody.